The Thracian Plain, defined by Bulgaria's two major mountain ranges, was a busy funnel of trade throughout ancient times. Four centuries before Christ, back when Socrates and Plato were doing their thing in Athens, about 300 miles to the south, Bulgaria was known as Thrace. The Thracians were an impressive civilization. We've learned a lot about them through their tombs. Thracians buried their royalty in distinctive dome-shaped tombs that were covered in earth. Dozens of these tombs are scattered across the valley, along with hundreds of decoy mounds designed to fool grave robbers. Buried deep under those piles of earth, the tombs were impressive engineering feats from 300 years before Christ. And this replica tomb demonstrates how even in the afterlife, the deceased would be surrounded by comforting images. So what do we have? We have the Thracian king who was buried here and the royal banquet with the gods, musicians, servants, horses. And on the top of it, we have uh, races with chariots, which is a part of a funeral procession. Tombs held a trove of golden treasure, now displayed in museums throughout Bulgaria. This bronze head of a powerful king humanizes those ancient Thracians. This region is also called the Valley of the Roses, and we're here just in time for the rose harvest. Vast fields of roses bloom overnight. Workers rise before the sun to quickly handpick the new blooms. They need to work early, before the rising sun evaporates the essential oils. While the fields smell sweet, the work is hard. At the distillery, millions of blooms are quickly unloaded. Freshness is critical. The bags of roses are stacked high before being dumped into the stills. So many flowers and so much hard work. The essential oils evaporate, then recondense, like fragrant moonshine. The payoff? A wide variety of rose oil products appreciated both abroad and at home.